on behalf of the uh, all the members of the faculty members of the G size and the organizing committee for the symposium, I'd like to say a few words as a closing remarks. Um, since the uh, foundation of our G size in uh, 2011, six, seven years ago, uh, we have been discussing uh, on what is human survivability, what human survivability research are, and what is the, uh, the major issues which we have to challenge, and what we should do, or what we can do. Still, we don't have, still yet, we don't have the uh, right answer. However, um, this is the question uh, which we should ask for a long time, even from now on. And uh, to get some clue in this kind of uh, discussion, uh, in the past five years, we have organized the uh, different symposium here. This is one of it. And uh, in the past uh, five uh, past uh, symposia, uh, we have concentrated, focused on the human survivability and uh, the global leaders challenging the uh, global issues or the energy problem or the disasters and so on. And this time uh, we have come to the, the main topic of the science and the culture. Um, personally, uh, I had been in the medical school for a long time as um, the researcher in the field of the molecular microbiology and immunology. And um, when I entered the medical school almost 50 years ago, uh, I was intending to be a good physician, doctor, clinical doctor. And actually, I, I spent only three years in the hospital. Then I turned to uh, change to my field to uh, basic science, basic medical science. And, uh, but when I was young, we were fr fr quite frequently uh, asked or taught by the teachers in the medical school that you should be an artist in the field of medical science. Please not become just a technical expert using the knowledge on the disease. What you are seeing, what you will see is not the disease itself, but you will deal with the, 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 the person, the patient who are suffering from a disease. This is the, still I remember this, and, uh, but now in the medical school, because of the development of the science or the molecular basis of the diseases, uh, the, the medical students want to be a rather scientist, measuring some, some special field, and uh, handling with the molecules, the amino acid the proteins, and actually, I also have uh, spent it a lot, a long, several, almost 40 years in the lab, uh, producing the, some novel, uh, novel data, aiming to publish in uh, big journals <laughs> with a high impact factor. But I, personally, I, I believe, I believe and uh, that the, as, as Dr. Crowley mentioned, uh, the science should be the part of the art in the wider uh, idea. And uh, still we, we, uh, we have the discussion whether what is the human survivability studies. The, the researchers whether the individual researchers can contribute to the uh, 
the development of the human survivability studies but through the uh, the uh, the studies and the individual experts we still don't know uh, however the uh, this is uh, one of the uh, long-term question but as far as we are living we are enjoying the daily life in in this neighborhood in Vietnam Bend. we never feel the uh, the threat to my own survivability. I think the, the tomorrow is tomorrow will come and I will survive. I never think that my my life tomorrow will be endangered by something. As far as uh, living in, in the small confined in the small area and they enjoy the daily life as before. However if we open the eyes to the far beyond the, uh, the, this neighborhood. We can, we can learn that uh, some um, 200,000 evacuees who survived the uh, tragic um, the earthquake and the tsunami six years ago, six, seven years ago, who uh, still not be able to are not able to go back to their home or home home run yeah. so we can realize that the uh, we we are in need for the uh, the uh, preparedness for the uh, very rare tragedy for the uh, um, disasters and also uh, I feel that the uh, resilience is very much important after the uh, suffering from the uh, such kind of the uh, disasters. And um, so today, uh, I personally enjoyed very much of this symposium, and we have listened to the uh, all the nice, very inspiring, and comprehensive talks from the various aspects. And it's not very easy to, to reach to the, the, some, some common and, the, and the correct answer. But I think, and I believe that the, every one of us can or have picked up the, some take home message from some of the, uh, the, the talks given by the uh, nice speakers today. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank all the participants uh, for their valuable, for your valuable contribution to make this symposium very good to run. And also, the, our special thanks are due to, uh, uh, goes to uh, Dr. Corey and Dr. Kell and uh, Dr. Miyagi, who uh, joined us kindly all the way from the abroad and from outside the university. Uh, for their wonderful uh, talks. And the, the last thing, I, I think this was really a nice symposium in, in, as a sixth international symposium held by the GSIS. And uh, let's keep, uh, I would like to um, ask every one of you to keep in touch or together with uh, for the creation of the, the uh, nice uh, uh, human survivability studies, and this is the, uh, the the final message from me. Thank you very much. <laughs>